long time ago, I used to have a goat. <coughs> have a goat. And in that goat, we ate a lot of grass. Since day morning to evening till night, he was continuously eating grass. Okay. So, Raja Parishan was out there. He asked for to Guru, do something about it. So, he alarmed her with the Dawandi. Okay, announced in, a, in a, his Raja. Okay, that uh, anybody who will make this goat happy, contented, <laughs> I'll give him a very big prize. So, tell her. I'll give a big prize. So a lot of people will gather. It is very easy. So first person comes. He says, okay. So the king says, but the condition is that you take him out for one day. You feed him as much grass as you can. But you have to bring him here and I'll take a test. I will personally take a test. I'll test whether he is hungry or whether he is full, trupta. So this fellow goes out in a green grassland, feeds him, whole day he feeds him. And then he is very happy that the goat must be very happy because for a whole day he is putting him in a, in a green grassland. Evening he comes back to the king and says, yes, Maharaj, have a look. Please test him. He is full. And then, King is always sitting with a green grass by his side. <laughs> so he just takes up a small piece of green grass and, and the goat starts eating. <laughs> now the person is pointed, how can this happen? Similarly, many people came and did the same thing. And the result was exactly the same. There was no difference at all. One intelligent Brahmin arrives at the place. Now the news has reached all over. that something like this and there is a big reward. So one intelligent Brahmin arrives at a place and he says, there must be some solution to this. There must be some knack in this. I have to understand what is the situation. So he says, I will do it. Give me a vote. So this fellow goes again to the green grassland. He will be carrying one stick in his hand. The moment goat touches grass, he hits goat with that stick. Next moment, the goat will go to another place and try to eat and he will hit the goat with that stick. It happens with several times so that the goat got conditioned that if I eat grass, I will be beaten. I will be beaten. So whole day he does only this thing. The goat is totally like he is starving now. Goat is starving. And he brings goat back to king and says, Maharaj, have a look. He is full, he is contented. <laughs> Please put, try whatever way you want to try. So again the king comes up with the with the few sticks of gra green grass. Forget about eating, the goat turns his head on the other side. <laughs> King is very happy, he gets his award. The message of this story is this goat is our mind. Goat is our mind. This Brahmin, this Brahmin is our Atma. And the king is Paramatma. So one of the obstacles, or you can say one of the obstacles of uh, reaching to this thing, what, what we are talking about, of playing life, is the mind. So you don't have to kill mind, you don't have to starve your mind. You have to understand your mind. To understand your mind. And start keeping yourself away from the mind for some time. That is what we call it as a prayer or meditation. The way we are involved in our day-to-day -day activities for 16 hours continuously, we are moving here and there with we as a body and mind. And then there are so many situations, people will come on us, there will be fights, there will be tension, there will be stresses. I am asking one show, why should you not have any kind of stress? Because you are living as a false entity, you are bound to it. How can
can you not have it? The kind of peace that we get is only when we sleep, if at all we are able to sleep. Right? So, not fight with mind, but to understand what mind is and try to see yourself from a different perspective.